And Lindsey Graham on the Senate side said he thinks this is an opportunity to reconsider immigration reform. I'm thinking he might have been in Colorado with the president the other day and sampling some of the baked goods. Uh, <laughs> but uh, there are some other voices outside of politics. Uh, Sheldon Adelson, the big Republican donor. Uh, Bill Gates, uh, we know who Bill Gates is. Uh, and uh, Warren Buffett. Three voices. They write an op-ed today in which they say, look, uh, our politics are very different. Um, we have some disagreements on immigration, but if you put us three in a room, we could write a comprehensive immigration bill. Uh, they want more high-tech workers. Uh, they think there should be a guest worker program for agriculture. Uh, Washington won't listen to them, right? You have three corporate giants, business giants, who say, if we can figure this out, why can't you guys? That's what you got elected to do. But it's still not. Washington will listen to them. The, the, the establishment Republicans will listen to them because they agree with them. It's the base of the Republican Party that still does not that still doesn't agree with the Chamber of Commerce Republican, and that's what you're seeing here. Obviously, they're not all Republicans, but it's the same point of view. And the White House was very happy to see that op-ed, and they, they, the senior counsel to the president, Dan Pfeiffer, put it on Twitter and said, look, you guys, you've even lost Sheldon Adelson. Even lost Sheldon well, I still don't think we'll get that one done at uh, least this year and probably next year. Some say we won't even consider it until Obama leaves the White House, which is, I believe, 29 or 30 months from now. So uh, a little pathetic. Washington can at least, I say, have votes, see what happens.